Today, guys, we're tackling a very fun topic, guilty pleasures. This channel may be all about trying to make quality cocktails, but we all have guilty pleasure and it's fine. And aside from being all about making quality cocktails, I'm also all about to try to make Sephiroth happy. And she has a guilty pleasure, one that would make pretty much every bartender ashamed. And I said, red sourpuss. It's awful, I hate it, she loves it. And one day for a party, I decided I would try to make like an elevated version of it. And I created a sour raspberry vodka shot and it turned out pretty good. I mean, I even started to like it and it became our signature party shot. So that's what we're doing today, guys. I'm showing you how to make a delicious and even better, like it's not really hard to make it better, but a good version of the red sourpuss, a raspberry sour vodka shot. So let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So, are you guys curious? A homemade sourpuss, can it be any good? I'm telling you, it can be. Because today we're gonna use good quality ingredients and when you use quality ingredients, chances are you're gonna end up with a good result. Plus, also, I believe this is a very good idea to have a bottle of that in your home bar because if you throw a party at home and at one point in the evening you take a bottle of a homemade sourpuss, that's good time, guaranteed. Because everybody knows about it, most of the people bitch about it, but at one point they also like to have a shot of it so if you tell your friends that you went the extra mile and made a homemade version of it that's good time guaranteed i'm telling you plus it is very very easy to make so if you guys are ready let's jump into the recipe right now all right guys so for the ingredients what you will need is vodka raspberries sugar water tartaric acid and citric acid these two last ingredients are very important. They're the foundation for this recipe to be a success and also the only way Sephora can really enjoy this recipe because her guilty pleasure, it's not exactly the sour puss in itself. It's the fact that it is raspberry flavored, her favorite fruit, and also the fact that it is very tart. When I met her, I remember she was adding like 10 squishes of sour syrup in her slush puppies. She was buying all these sour uh, candies that she could. And even when I make a cocktail and I garnish it with the lemon wheel or a lime wheel, for example, it's never a waste. She always finishes it, she eats it, she loves what starts. So now that it is said, now that you have all the ingredients handy, we're ready to make the recipe. So in a glass container, you will weight 200 grams of fresh or frozen raspberries, you will add 200 grams of granulated sugar, 250 ml of vodka, 250 ml of water, and then you will add 10 grams of tartaric acid and 9 grams of citric acid. Then you will stir until the sugar and the acids are dissolved. You will place that in the fridge and let that infuse for 24 hours. Once you're done with the waiting time, you're ready to bottle it up. And to do so, you will strain your mixture through four layers of cheesecloth or the filtering bags that I use. I'm gonna link them in the description down below. They are really good. And this is it guys, all it takes to make a delicious homemade sour raspberry vodka. So now, as we always do on this channel, let's give this one a try. Cheers. Cheers guys. Mm. Oh, oh my god, god. oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> this is so tart. It's so good! There's, there's not a lot of things to do about it, except that it is very tart. The raspberry flavors, uh, the raspberry flavor is just like super natural, very tasty. It is really good. If you could see Sephra's face right now, you'd know this is a success. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you ever make it and drink it with friends, I would be delighted. We would be delighted to see that on your stories on Instagram. So please tag us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and see you very soon. Ciao. See? Bye-bye.